is Kolonov about to dig deep and put in a push for the last 15 minutes plus two. Well, Fevra is past Belandrin and up into fifth place. And he is closing on Kolonov, who has just spent all race trying to find his way past Ruben Fernandez. He finally gets up the inside. Can he make the pass stick? Well, he doubles neatly through there. And Fevra just gets balked, gets squeezed to the inside. Kolonov up into third. Fernandez now fourth. He's slow to get out of the turn. An easy pass then for Roman Fevra as he moves into fourth place. Trying to minimise the points. It was back out to 106 points a moment ago. He started the weekend, 104 down. He got it down to 96 between him and Prado after race one. Just goes to show how important this ride is. How important to not make any more mistakes as, uh, well, the Landre just offline there. He's still in sixth position. Fernandez keeping him back there as well. Belandra wants to join the party. He wants in on the action. Quick pull of the tear-offs there from him as well. And Kevin Van Benroy, Yamaha rider in pink. Goes the long way round. It's going to be short, sharp holes through this next right-hander. But he bounces his way, dances his way through there. Can he keep the Honda Man at bay? He has to commit. That's exactly what he does. Almost comes to grief as well. But Belandra is up in the fifth place. Fantastic race in here. Everybody's saying how tough it is, but once they're in race mode, they've got no option but to dig deep. Prado, 10 seconds clear. He's in a different way. In fact, he's almost home. He only lives over the road. Here's Seawer and Koldanov. These two separated by about a second and a half. Which one of the two Yamahas is going to bring it home ahead of the other one? Fevra got himself up into fourth place. There he is in green. Going to be second overall, 43 points. It's crucial that he finds his way past both these Yamahas. If he is to stand on the top step of the podium, 